right there is the hut. Where? Oh, right there. That white dot is the hut. Where they have like stuff to buy. <laughs> that little dot right there. These bugs are disrespectful. Yep. That little dot. That little white dot is the hut. So then if so then if that's the hut that's then moment. what's those little things up here? Those little home things. That's a different hut and, and that's a gondola. Look at the hut, how it looks on the camera. It's a little white dot. Look at it right there. Yeah. <laughs> These bugs are disrespectful. Yeah, look at them. Look at them. They're just landing. They're just everywhere. All over my back and legs. That was a hard climb, but I feel good. You? Yeah, my legs don't hurt. I haven't had to wear my knee brace yet. I just hope we, we have enough water to get to that. I think we do, but... Because the hut is right there. It looks tiny on camera, but it looks medium size. Yes, like yeah. Looking at it here. So, we have to go. We have to we go. Gotta go. Don't step on way. those plants. These plants are very fragile. Hello. Yeah, that's that's where we go. And then, so we go this way, and then you go down. We still got a lot to go. Four and a half hours. We started at nine. Nine o'clock. And the last time I checked, it was about 12 something on the 7 o'clock. So, we've been four hours. We're already like four five hours. Yeah, we, we've taken breaks and stuff. Yeah. So, we got another probably five hours, maybe. Yep. We're definitely going to stay here for three. Five hours of then, beautiful then, hiking. Then, and mountains. Rock climbing. The bug just went up my nose. And then uh, This is rated um like one of the most beautiful mountains in New Hampshire. Yeah. And one of the most beautiful like trails to hike in New Hampshire. So yep. I've been dying to do this for a long time. And then I always bring the sticks because it definitely has been helping me a lot. Yeah. It like helps not put like pressure on your knees. Yeah. And it helps you kind of pull yourself, like put like more weight on your arms to pull yourself up. So this is a good tool to have. The mountains. So it helps a lot. And helping me a lot with my messed up knees. But so far, my knees haven't hurt, my legs don't hurt, I and mean, one muscle feels tight, but it's okay. I think I took like a, I want to say a good week or two weeks off of like working out. So I need to get back in for it because my muscles are tight. Yeah. This is a really hard hike. This is, this is probably... From one to ten, this is probably a ten, eleven. Yeah, definitely. So, it's normally when we do mountains. Not everyone could do this, definitely. Yeah, and normally when we do mountains, when we get to the top, it's extremely cold. Yeah, we're very exposed. It's super hot. But now, beautiful day. Yeah, now it's it's not even cold up here. It's like it's extremely hot. Like you, the closer you get to the sun. Cool yourself down. Yeah. That's the only bad thing is like when you gotta bring a lot of stuff you need, the bags get heavy. And I can't even, I mean, I could try and help, but. 
probably weighs more than me. Does. And I'm only like 86 pounds. Oh, look at that dragonfly. It's a dragonfly right there. So yeah. All right, we're gonna finish hiking and then we'll catch you guys on the next peak. We have three peaks. Yep. Alrighty. When you think you brought enough water, bring more. Definitely bring more when you think you brought enough. Yes. But thousand plus foot mountain back to back to back i'm surprised my legs don't hurt i guess because i'm we're taking breaks yeah these bugs are messing us up like look at that like i got they bite you and you don't really feel them and then they leave you little blood clots
tayo sa night. And it's crazy because the hut, which no, I don't know no mountains that have like huts and stores. And this is like the first mountain that has a hut and it's like that's a store. But I think it's because it's the hardest mountain, right? Yeah, one of them. Um, so that's the this is the first mountain we've done that actually has a store for when you run out of water and stuff. Um, you can buy. It looks like no actually really freaking far. Like so close. up here but there's a lot of wind so the breeze feels good it feels cold you know We did all that. Started from down here, climbed all this, up that way, that way, this way, come down. We're gonna end up somewhere over there where the parking lot is in about another hour or two. How long did it take us to climb that? Six hours, seven hours. Seven hours took us to climb all that with brakes and everything. We didn't get to get any footage of the hut. Ooh, we were just too exhausted and we forgot. But we made it and we're still making it. I mean, we have like, I have pictures from like when we made it. I took pictures of like the mountain from outside of the window. So we can start those. Yeah. Um. We're still making it. I had to put my knee brace on because my knees are hurting me going down. But I did good going up seven hours. OMG. I can't believe we did all that. I cannot believe we climbed all these mountains. Three mountains. Mm -hmm. Three different mountains. And they all got different names. I can't believe we did that. Yep. Like, we climbed up a freaking waterfall. Like, that's insane. We still have a lot to go. Coming down is it's painful on my knees, so. And it's like dangerous. I'm sliding. I don't got the proper shoes on. Um, but I mean, it's safe. I haven't hurt. We haven't fell on our shoes. I can't. 
to, to, to just grab the whole footage of all three mountains. I mean, it would have stopped every, like when the battery died, but we could have like replaced the battery. Yeah. Like, we should have had our GoPro going while we climbed this whole thing. This is the thing. It's not going to be good all that. We literally started from the bottom, right? And then did all that to climb that mountain. We went down on this mountain. That's that miles away. The hut is, is in the back of that mountain right there. But it's crazy. The hard way is seven hours up, and then I guess this is easier. Not so easy, but easier. It's how many hours down? Two and a half, three. Two and a half, three. Depending on how many times you stop and stuff. We were able to get some stuff from that hut from the store. Some like electrolytes, some beef sticks, stuff like that, you know? But this is definitely dangerous. Oh, and proud of Oh, looks like smoke coming from that house or something there. Oh my god. Right now. Let's go this way. Oh yeah. Come call a taxi. Huh? Come call a taxi. A little dog. We made it back. Time for a shower. She's struggling. Yeah, because it's going to be full of debris and stuff. Oh, man. Now my slippers are full of shit, too. Whew. Holy shit. Feels good, right? Huh? Yeah, it feels so good. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God. Still some cars here. Still some people. Oh. This is our shower. Oh. I'm gonna start hitting the road, so now we got an hour and a half drive back home. Now I'm a little nippy. So I dry myself my towel and hit the road. <sighs> Babe drove here, so I'm gonna drive home. <sighs> Whew.